looking a little bit uh, miserable ahead. And being island, it's prone to rain, so I thought I'd put on my one piece. Just purchased. And my bubble visor. So upon arriving in Ireland, um, I found out that three of the counties were going into lockdown. And typically there were three counties between me and my destination. So I, um, I encountered three roadblocks en route. Um, counties Kildare, Offaly and Leash. And um, all the guards wanted to know was simply where I was going and that I wasn't going to loiter in the counties that were locked down. So I uh, got through the roadblocks fairly straightforward um, and uh, on route encountered this Harley group which was pretty cool but I uh, didn't hang about with them. I was on a mission to get to the house um, so moved pretty quickly through the various counties from Kilkenny all the way to County Mayo. So now the purpose of this trip was apart from going on an epic road trip um, on a Harley Davidson from the UK to Ireland um, via Wales there was an actual purpose and that was to make my way to my cottage in uh, County Mayo in Ireland. It's a cottage I bought four years ago for investment purposes and as a safe house if you would for the family so that we could have a space if catastrophe happened and to be honest that's kind of what 2020 has been about so I was making my way there to sort of fix it. Good morning, it's the 11th of August 2020, a year which I think the majority of us would like to just forget even existed, even happened. Uh, I'm here in County Mayo in, in the Republic of Ireland to do some work on the cottage in the event that the worst happens. That's something um, that I've never f foreseen or, or even predicted might happen and that is the closure of my company due to lack of trading. We've been going since 2007 and on a very uh, successful path for the past 13 years. And uh, I won't be able to afford the life I know um, if that happens. And essentially D-Day for us is the end of this year. We've, we run out of money. Um, we haven't been trading since March, uh, which is a very sad state of affairs. We've had no income very little income uh, since March and no company can survive like that. We've, uh, we, we did pivot as everybody's been using the buzzword and what we did was we created a virtual event platform and uh, we turned our offices into studios and we've, we've you know done a bit of turnover but it's not covering the bills so to speak. So I'm up here um, you know preparing for the worst, getting the cottage ready so that the family and I can move here and have a place to stay because it's mortgageless um, and the lifestyle we could live would be relatively low cost. So I thought, I guess, well, you know, might as well just diarise this um, like I usually do. I'm, I'm not in the mood to, but I, I thought I'd better. Um, I've got Matthew joining me uh, today uh, and we're going to be working on the flooring. Primarily, that's the main goal is the flooring, but uh, I've also got so many things to finish. You know, the grass is overgrown, the painting and plastering needs to be done outside, painting needs to be done inside, radiators need to be removed. Um, oh, it's just endless, it's endless. There's so much to do, but to make it livable, uh, the flooring needs to be done, and I think we could, we could crack on. Um, but yeah, so, I guess to summarize, enjoy the video diary. I'm gonna have pork sausages now. Oh, another thing. I don't know what it is about these motorcycle trips that I go on. But I seem to uh, get drunk and break glasses. Yeah. Okay, so the three day bike trip is now at an end and I'm at the house ready for work. But I thought before we do that, let me take you back to when the house was bought and a few trips in the lead up to this, which you probably haven't seen. Let's do that.
So that clip that you just watched was the very first time that we had gone to the property since I'd bought it. Um, I decided to fly the family over to, to take a look at what it was that we were getting ourselves into for the next uh, many years. And um, the funny thing about rural Ireland is that there are no addresses as such as no street names and no house numbers. So I kind of arrived and had forgotten where the house was. So we drove around for two hours looking for the property that I had bought. Um, anyway, so we did, we checked it out. Um, it was purely recce. I just wanted to show everybody what it was like. And it was cool. The next trip was when I, f I drove out in a van with uh, a van full of plants uh, to, to sort of get some established garden going. And also the idea was to clear the junk from the outhouses. The uh, previous owner had just used the outhouse as a dumping ground for shit. Um, so I went up with Gareth to clear it and we were a bit naive because it was winter, there was no insulation, no heating, um, middle of winter and yeah, that first night was hell. That first night was hell. So you can connect to the local one. I'm trying to hook up some Wi Fi there. Okay, battery's dying again. And everything. Typical. And your focus. Yeah, check this out. Fucking breakfast. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 8 a.m. Fucking day. You want to hollow it out? Hollow it out. <laughs> this is why I don't cook. Fuck sex. You would be so proud of me right now, Mandy.
the Gareth trip now completed and over and we've uh, managed to get rid of all the rubbish and plant the plants that required planting, uh, we went on our way and caught the ferry back home. He would be the last person for the next two years to see the property other than myself. I would fly up um, and do work on the property, um, getting it to a point where I could get a builder in and a project manager in, uh, as well as an electrician and plumber, etc. Get the tradesmen in to sort of start working on the property. I needed to rip it down to its bare bones um, and, and see what the damage was. And it turned out that I needed a new roof and I needed to rebuild one of the in internal walls. I needed an entirely new electric system, an entirely new plumbing system, new radiators. Uh, pretty much everything. I gutted it to the point where I had nothing, there was nothing else I could do. So I pulled in uh, Gerard, Gerald, um, wicked dude, he project managed it for me. Um, and uh, we got it to the point where it is today, but you know, enjoy the clip uh, and then let's get to present day.
today is the start of work. Uh, we're gonna do this room first. We're gonna put the flooring down in here, uh, then do the skirting around the perimeter of the room. And then this will be Max and Kerry in the boys' room for them to stay while they're here. That's the radiator that will be put back. There's the flooring. There's the, uh, what it looks like. Three down claws, that was burnt oak. Oak flooring. Really, really looking forward to getting this done. But first, a bit of a walk and some food, I think. Yes. Yes. 